Hi, welcome to Self-Sufficient Urban Gardening. Today I want to show you what's happening with my basil again. So in another video, I showed you that the leaves were being eaten like this and like this. And there was a caterpillar here that I took to the backyard and I put my pots here away from the backyard so she, they couldn't come back. But I think that caterpillar maybe laid some eggs. So come close and let's see uh, what is happening here. So you see, it, it's still eating, but it's not the same caterpillar. Let me turn these here and you'll see the small caterpillars that we have. Look at that. So this is one, it's a green caterpillar. And there is another one. Let's see where it is. Where is the other one? Over there. Look at that. This is a bigger one. So I noticed that some of my basil leaves were kind of transparent like this. And that's how I uh, noticed that some damage was starting to happen. But then overnight, over like maybe two or three days, all of these little plants started uh, just being eaten. Uh, I have one, two, three basil plants. And uh, basically they're mostly here, but you can see some damage on these two. Um, there are some lines that start to show up. Like you see here, uh, it starts to get transparent. And this is when uh, you have the first signs that caterpillars are starting to eat your basil. Another sign that I noticed is that there are some tiny little black dots, which is the poop of the caterpillars, caler, caterpillars after they eat your leaves. So they start pooping in your plant. So yeah, so now I'm going to get these caterpillars and take them to the front yard so that they don't come back here and let's hope that works. So let me take these uh, bigger ones here out first. I'm gonna try to be careful not to, not to kill it. Oi. Oh, it's running away from me, come on. Climb on, climb on, ah, no, come on. Oops. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. And I'm gonna get the other one, which is right here. Come on. You can go. Grab, grab the stick. Grab the stick. Or maybe I can just drop it. Drop it. Oh! It fell down here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, we'll take them to the front yard. So now I have this, uh, this thing here with a few uh, caterpillars. The two bigger ones that we found are these ones this here I'm gonna put it here on this milkweed plant which uh, at least the caterpillars for monarch but butterflies really like now I don't know if these uh, caterpillars will like it but that's something we should try so let's do that and also we just got a couple more leaves with Tiny, tiny, tiny caterpillar. See if you can see the size of this one. It's moving there, look at that. It's so, so, so tiny. And there's even another one up here. Oh, two more up here, look at that. One over there and one on this side too. So these are tiny, tiny, tiny caterpillars that we also found. Oh, look at that, there's three just here. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave uh, this basil leaf right here for them to enjoy. There's another basil leaf here with another three caterpillars. 
So I'm also going to leave this basil leaf here for them to enjoy. And that's it, transfer complete. See you next episode, enjoy your garden.